Get ready for the morning rush. A quick wrap of your news and weather. We'll start with Chris Gilson. Yeah, we're going to see the winds crank up today. So the Metro Threat Index up to a 7 today with that chance for some strong gusty winds. Temperatures on the chilly side. Those winds really pick up as we head into the afternoon and evening. Thanks, Chris. As you get ready to head out the door, we're following today's top local stories, and we'll start with Catherine Mazzone. This morning, the man who killed a four-year-old girl in a road rage incident will begin serving a 16-year sentence. I wanted to apologize to the Garcia family, to the public, to my family. Tony Torres addressed the court yesterday where a judge signed off on a plea deal. It requires Torres to serve 15 years in prison for second-degree murder charges and one year for using the gun. His attorney says that means he could be out in less than 13 years. Lily Garcia's family doesn't believe any amount of prison time is enough. What her father had to say in court coming up in the five facts. Sarah? The UNM Board of Regents is set to meet again next week to discuss the UNM president's future with the university. Yesterday, the board met to discuss a review of President Bob Frank that touched on expenses and how he treats his staff. During a trip to New Jersey for a Lobo football game, Frank chose to stay at an expensive hotel in Manhattan while the team stayed at a cheaper one. Frank noted he had a donor reception in Manhattan that, quote, has great potential to bring revenue to the university and said at the time when rates were high because of Fashion Week. For a full look at the audit, visit KRQE.com. Adam. In just hours, a brief memorial service will be held to remember the victims in the San Bernardino terror attack. One year ago today, 14 people were killed, 22 others were injured. Investigators still don't know the exact motive of the shooters, but this morning, San Bernardino County employees will hold a moment of silence at 1058 when the first 911 call was placed. The football community is mourning the death of a former NFL player killed in an apparent road rage incident in Louisiana. Police arrested a suspect, Ronald Gasser. 28-year-old McKnight played in the NFL from 2010 to 2014. He suited up for the New York Jets and Kansas City Chiefs. Crews are picking up the pieces today after a strong landslide in Columbia killed six and injured four others. That landslide caused the collapse of a two-story building holding 10 people. More than 300 volunteers and much of the community helped to recover the bodies and rescue the injured. The landslide also caused the overflow of a nearby river, causing more than 30 trees to collapse. The Police Oversight Board wants an investigation looking into allegations. Albuquerque police officers altered or deleted recordings from lapel cameras. Board members want either the FBI or state police to determine whether any officers broke the law and an independent expert to determine whether any rules were broken. Starbucks stock is down 3% in early market trading this morning after a surprising decision from Howard Schultz to step down as CEO. He isn't going away, though. In April, he'll focus on opening more innovative and high-end Starbucks shops. Schultz has stepped down as Starbucks CEO before. In fact, he left the company in 2000 to become the owner of the Seattle Supersonics and then returned eight years later. Chris? All right, we're going to contend with the wind here in the metro. It's going to be a cold day out there. Snow on the increase across the north northeast later on today, and that snow will continue across the eastern half of the state and then eventually filling in across southern New Mexico, dumping some heavy snow across the Sacramento Mountains over Saturday and Sunday. Adam? State district court judges can now deny violent offenders bail. This week, the constitutional amendment voters passed on election day was certified through the state's canvassing board. District court judges were previously required to offer most defendants a reasonable bail. The amendment also protects those who get stuck in jail simply because they can't pay even a small bail. It passed with 87% of the vote. The more time people spend outside in the sunlight during their teen and adult, uh, young adult years, the lower their risk of becoming nearsighted. As seniors, researchers in London found higher exposure to ultraviolet B radiation at ages 14 through 39 was associated with reduced odds of myopia later in life. The study's authors say more studies those are, are needed to explain that connection. Students in New Mexico can now get some help finding internships. The Students Work Portal is designed to help students gain some more professional experience while in college by finding a position they're interested in, then interning with that company. We've posted a link to the portal on our website, krqe.com. As the kids head to school this morning, Albuquerque Public Schools is looking to hire more than 200 substitute teachers. APS says its existing pool of substitutes has decreased over the years. That's because many of its substitutes are filling in long term as the district tries to fill the growing number of teacher vacancies. On the traffic situation, 653 as you get ready to head out the door. Let's get a bird's eye view of what's happening across the metro. A little slow going there. Paseo del Norte into I-25 is as typical this time of the day, but uh, no major incidents. No major accidents reported to kick off this Friday so far.
If you're planning to shop in Santa Fe this weekend, you'll have a little extra cash to spend. The city is giving holiday shoppers a break on parking. There will be free parking downtown on all Saturdays from now until Christmas. The meters will be bagged to indicate which ones are free. Pretty nice deal. Just hours now, the winners of Edible Art will be announced. Builders put their skills to the test for the Gingerbread House contest called Gingerbread Enchantment. These winners are going to be announced at an event tonight at Expo New Mexico, and they'll walk away with some cash. The homes will also be auctioned off to the highest bidder. Proceeds benefit Meals on Wheels of Albuquerque. An organizer say the contest is a fun way for people to get into the holiday spirit and help out a great cause. Some of them are really detailed. Oh, yes, they are. All right, happening tonight from a 5 to 9, you can take a stroll through Old Town, where many of the stores are offering holiday discounts. Three museums are also joining in on the celebration with free admission, and you can check out the Christmas tree lighting set to be at 6 this evening. Very exciting. Mm -hmm. All right, time for the five facts this morning. We start at number five. If you're decorating for Christmas this weekend, you can now pick up a New Mexico themed ornament to add to your tree. The New Mexico Governor's Mansion Foundation unveiled its sixth ornament in a series with a real piece of turquoise on it. Stores around Santa Fe will be selling it for $30. Number four, a major Albuquerque interchange could soon get a makeover. Last night, the Department of Transportation held a public meeting to get input for their plan for I-25 in Rio Bravo. The design calls for separate on ramps for people driving on Rio Bravo and those on University. Drivers would also be able to merge right from I-25 southbound to Rio Bravo westbound without stopping. At number three, President-elect Donald Trump holds more meetings at Trump Tower in New York today as he continues to make picks for his administration. At a rally in Ohio last night, Trump announced plans to nominate retired Marine General James Mattis for Defense Secretary. Trump also says he will announce his pick for a Supreme Court nominee pretty soon. He says he's narrowed his choices down to three or four candidates. At number two, cold wind and snow ahead for the weekend. We're looking at the lower 40s today here in Albuquerque. We're going to have wind gusts as high as 40 miles per hour, especially if you're near the canyon in the strongest winds. Snow increases for eastern and southern New Mexico as we head into tonight and also for early Saturday morning. Number one, the man who pled guilty to killing four-year-old Lily Garcia, beginning that 16-year sentence behind bars this morning. As we reported moments ago, Tony Torres accepted a plea deal to second-degree murder for the road rage shooting last year. Lily's father also acknowledged his involvement for the first time, saying if he knew then what he knows now, he would not have swerved. Torres apologized to the family in court and went on to say the shooting was in self-defense because he claims Lily's father was the aggressor.